Hi guys, Tika536 here in another video for you today. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to fix low memory problems that occur on Windows. So, um, we'll get into how you fix it in a minute, but why do low memory problems occur? So you've got two types of memory. You've got RAM and virtual memory. And if you've, if all programs use RAM, and if they become low on it, then they'll make Windows temp files, um, which is virtual memory, and create pa uh, paging files. So it creates paging files to free up RAM, so the program can run correctly. So low memory problems occur when your computer runs out of RAM and becomes low on virtual memory as well. So this can happen when you run more programs than the RAM installed on the computer is designed to support, or it can also happen when your computer doesn't, fr the program doesn't free up um, memory that it no longer needs. This is called memory overuse or memory leak. So now we get into how to prevent low memory problems. So running fewer programs at one time can help prevent low memory problems and information loss. It's a good idea to observe which programs show signs of low memory conditions and try not to run them at the same time. So task manager is a really useful thing to be able to have because it can show you how much memory is being used at any one time by going to the performance tabs you can see um, their memory usage and you can also see the percentage here along with the processes that are using this memory and by clicking on this um, on memory up here and making this little tab you can see which processes are using the most memory. So one thing you want to go and do is increase the virtual paging um, file size. So to do this you want to go to start and type in computer and then right click on it and click properties. This will work on any windows and then you want to go to advanced system settings um, advanced, click on the advanced tab up here, click on go under performance, click on settings then click on advanced and then you'll see this virtual memory bit down here then you want to change it and when you go onto it it will have that that thing it should have that thing ticked on like that and so if you're having problems with it and it is ticked on like that then you want to untick it click on custom size and increase it it must be at least three times um, your RAM it must be at least it should be at least three times your RAM that's what it automatically puts it to and so you should increase it above the initial size which is the minimum and the maximum size above three times the amount of RAM you've got so another thing you can do is go ahead and upgrade your RAM physically, so actually put new RAM into your computer. So if it's a laptop, I'd say go into a store, get it done, unless you know what you're doing. Same with desktop, um, and that means you'll you'll get rid of the low memory problems, and you'll um, increase the speed of your computer a lot. So guys, the next thing I want to go and do is see if a program overuses memory, and so to do this you want to go and go to Task Manager like I showed you at the beginning, processes and click on memory to um, get to sort these processes into which uses the most memory. Once you've done that and you see like here you go at the moment I haven't got Skype open and I haven't got Spotify open so I'd want to shut them down if I wasn't using them. They use quite a lot of RAM between them. Also if you want to go to startup change your startup options so that you don't get apps like Skype and Spotify starting at the beginning and therefore decreasing the amount of RAM you've got. Okay, so the final thing you can do is do a full shutdown, and this what this will do is will shut down all programs that um, that have been opened. So if you've got any memory overuse or memory leaking, then this should stop that and reset your computer so it does a fresh startup. So to do this, you want to go if you're on Windows XP Vista or seven, you just want to go and do a normal shutdown. But if you're on Windows eight, you want to go to start. You want to go slide your mouse over here, settings, power, and hold Shift when you click power, and that'll do a full shutdown because a um, a full shutdown because normally Windows 8 and 8.1 do a, a hybrid shutdown which means you can resume working fast but this will do a full shutdown and completely wipe your computer of all um, of all memory overuse and memory leaking and it means you can get off to a fresh start it won't do any, it won't do anything permanent um, it will just um, speed up your computer and hopefully stop these memory um, memory issues so guys, please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. That's what I'm talking about.